Not the easiest piece of luggage, but for these musicians, this is a trip there'll be no complaining about. They're tuning up in New York for the biggest performance of their lives so far. You can almost hear the nerves in the bowstrings. They've traveled thousands of miles for this orchestral Olympics. 33 different countries are represented from Austria and Australia, South Korea and Sweden, the US and the UK, but there's no room for jet lag. They've had just 72 hours practicing together. First sectionals, then the whole orchestra. Now that's pressure. What do you reckon? Not bad so far. Holding the baton is top conductor Michael Tilson Thomas from the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. His challenge to bring a bunch of complete strangers into harmony. It's all an exploration. It's using technology to the most expressive and personal purposes that we can find. And I wanted the wonderfully old prestigious classical music world to get a very affectionate but firm nudge in the direction of taking all of this on board. The call went out in December to anyone, anywhere. They got more than 3,000 videos, 200 finalists were chosen, then YouTube viewers voted. Hello, my name is David. I live in Bermuda and I play the violin. Hello, I'm Marco Massini. I come from Peru and I play the bass clarinet. Hi, I'm Lida. I come from China. I play the violin. For me, living in Bermuda, I don't really have a chance to play with a 96-person orchestra from 30 countries at this level. And so I was just really interested in the opportunity to play with a really high-level orchestra. And this is it, Carnegie Hall. Everyone from Yehudi Menuhin to the Beatles has played here. The program includes Brahms and Bach, plus a specially composed piece, Internet Symphony No. 1, Eroica. When the first beat falls, this world-famous hall will be filled. It's a daunting prospect for even the very best musicians that these guys only met last weekend. It's been an epic journey up a very steep musical mountain. And for them, it all started with a simple home video. Heather Alexander, BBC News, New York.